In today's video, we're opening a first edition hobby box of Shadow of Infinity searching for the sacred beasts. Shadow of Infinity first edition hobby box. We are searching for the sacred beasts. We have pulled two of them now in Ultra Rare Unlimited. This is a first edition hobby box. So we have potential to pull first edition versions in Ultra, first edition Ultimate Rares, and the Uriah, which I have never pulled in any version. So this is a beautiful box. Let's take a look at it before we destroy it and open it up. This box break was uh, sold on Ruxin34.com. So if you go over there, you guys can uh, get it on the next box break. Members get early access to that. Patreon members, YouTube members, stuff like that. And of course, on Ruxin34.com, you can get your Pecanio Moth mat for a limited time. It ends in, at the end of October. Here we go. Let's break it open. Wow, that was a nice cut. That was a nice cut. Nobody's going to be telling me my knife's too dirty now. Actually, they probably still will because it is pretty dirty. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's open this thing up. Let's see what we're going to get. This is a uh, interesting seal where it's just going to be pulled off like that. That's how you keep the seal nice. And uh, I've never had a seal come off like that nice. That's kind of sick, actually. All right. Here we go. All right, first edition. Looking beautiful. Looking beautiful. Shadow of Infinity. Let's start off with Carson C with four packs in this box break. Here we go. We brought the Pecanio Moth mat. Maybe we'll bring us luck. One, two, three, four. Here we go. First edition Shadow of Infinity. Man, these packs look amazing. They look really, really good. Can we pull a Sacred Beast Ultra and Ulti? Or double Ulti. Can you imagine how good that would be? Okay, one, two, three, four. Can we start off with a foil here? Next to be lost. Elemental Hero Neo Bubble Man. All right. Grass Phantom. End of the world. We have Gokipon. Sam Sorrow. Chain Thrasher. Here we go. Oh, Cyber Barrier Dragon. Okay. Cyber Barrier. A lot of... Where are my sleeves? There they are. I was like, where are they? Okay. What are the best pulls from this set? The three Sacred Beasts are in here. Raviel, Uriah, and Haman. They're both in Ultra and Ulti. So very insane. Nice start. Not a bad card, just a super rare though, so not anything too crazy. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. We have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three super rare cards from Retro Pack 1. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below, will this be the day we pull the Sacred Beast Ultimate Rare? Do you like free money? Wait, what? What's this? Is that 15 free dollars on whatnot? Yes, it is, because if you guys want 15 free dollars on whatnot, anywhere on the platform, whether it be my stream, someone else's stream, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, watches, shoes, whatever you want, you guys can get $15 free credit just by using my link in the description. And you might be wondering what in the world is Whatnot? Well, I don't know how you're wondering that because we've been working with Whatnot for over a year now, but if you are new, Whatnot is an auction platform where you guys can buy, you can sell. If you wanna become a seller, you can use my link as well. And you guys can go on there and start selling your own stuff. But there are tons and tons of different collectibles on there, including Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon cards, watches, shoes, and pretty much anything else you can think of. So if you guys want 15 free dollars toward any of that stuff from anyone on the platform, make sure you use my link in the description. Oh, and you can also use it on my live stream this Thursday where we will be selling some unique singles such as like glossy print, original, started at blue eyes. We have reverse foil, thousand dragon. We've got some really cool, unique stuff coming up this Thursday. I'll also be selling a few extra Pequeno Moth mats. There will be a Starlight Rare mat sold as well. So keep an eye out for that on Thursday. So go bookmark my stream on the Whatnot app. And I want to see you guys there with 15 free dollars in hand. Next pack, first edition. I personally think I like Raviel. No, I think I like him on the, or I mean, uh, Uriah the best. I'm more of a Slifer slash Uriah guy. Uh, get a retail box for Treeborn Frog. Yeah, that Treeborn Frog is, is really, really sick. If it was in the Hobby Box, it would be insane because there'd be so many good pulls. One, two, three, four. Here we go. We have the Death Frog. Silent Insect, next to be lost. Elemental Hero, Nia Bubble Man. We have Ancient Gear. Take a video of Sheehan, the Wild Heart Jr. Goki Pond, Into the World. And a Malfunction. That pack malfunctioned on us. Pack malfunction. we didn't get anything. That's okay. Can we pull one, two, okay, that card on the back is a little bent. Two, three, four. Can we pull an Ultimate Rare? Ancient Gear Cannon, let's get a Sacred Beast. Uriah, never pulled Uriah, so it'd be sweet. Attack Reflector Unit, hey, that goes with our uh, Cyber Barrier Dragon. This one right here, that's how you summon it. Grass Phantom, the VeggieTales character. Diddy Guide, Ancient Gear Drill. Generation Shift, Saber Beetle. Magnet Circle Level 2. And Adhesive Explosive. Uh, last pack for Carson. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 
We have Parasite Tiki. Success probability 0%. Hero Heart. Ancient Gear Cannon. Only one foil pulled so far. Disciple of the Forbidden Spell. Symbol of Heritage. Machine King Prototype. And an option hunter starting it off one for four. Not the best start, but we at least got a foil. That means the rest of the box is already heating up with the way we've started. We have Reno collects with three packs. Will he be collecting a sacred beast today? That would be nice. That would be pretty sick. First edition Shadow of Infinity. Will we pull amazing? There's some, these are like stuck to the packs. It's kind of weird. They're like sliding off really weird. It's like friction. All right, Photon Generator Unit, Malice Ascendant, Attack Reflector Unit, Ancient Gear Cannon, Goki Pawn, End of the World, Tinkabito Shein, Shinki Prototype, and a Demise King of Armageddon, another super rare, another super rare, okay, Demise is a cool card, could be, our, I mean, a lot of times in these boxes, the supers end up being the ultis, so I'm looking at Barrier Dragon, I'm looking at a Demise, I think there's a good chance we could get those ultis. One, two, three, four from the back. Can we get our first ulti? Malice Ascendant. Photon Generator Unit. Death Frog. Silent Insect. Disciple of Forbidden Spell. Ancient Gear. Full Salvo. Tingabito Shien. And Chainsaw Insect. The card battles a monster. Your opponent draws one card at the end of the end step, but it's a 2400 attack monster. Four star. First edition Shadow Infinity. Great Pequeno Moth. Bring us your luck. Can we pull something crazy? All right, this is pack number seven total. One, two. A lot of these corner packs are bent. Two, three, four. Two supers so far in the opening. We've got a Silent Insect, Death Frog, Photon Generator. I dropped the card. Malice Ascendant, Beals Frog. Full Salvo. Magnet Circle, level two. Magnet. I'm not speaking today. Ancient Gear. And Karma Cut. It's a pretty cool retail ulti, but not a Sacred Beast. All right, we are two for seven to start. All right, Jareth Arm, three packs. Man, there's some these packs have like no air in them. Like they're <laughs> they've just like sucked all the air out. And then when you open it up, it's so strange. Ancient Gear Factory of Trial of the Princesses, Tikabito Shin, End of the World, Goki Pond, Samsara, and a Doom Dozer. I remember when this card went up to a hundred dollars for the ulti. Even Unlim, it was insane because of the uh insect. It was like, was it when the Insectors came out? Maybe it was something crazy. Second pack. Let's go. Let's see what we can pull. One, two, three, four. We're still searching. We have yet to pull an ultimate rare out of this box or an ultra. Could be good as well. Saber Beetle. Magnet Circle level two. And Memory Crusher, crushing our memories. Our memory of pulling the Sacred Beasts are being destroyed. Crazy good when Orcs was released. Yeah, like back. Yeah, the original Insectors. Yeah. All right, last pack for Jareth. That'll be 10 total packs opened after this. Out of 24. Almost through the first half. What will we get? One, two, three, four. Can we get our first ultimate rare? Can we get an ultra rare? Another foil. Parasite, parasitic Tiki. Malice Ascendant. Photon Generator. Chain Thrasher. Generation Shift. Sand Moth. Symbol of Heritage. And a damage game. Oh, man. I'm not going to say it. You guys know what I'm thinking. I'm not going to say it. Eric B with two packs. Here we go. One, two. First edition Shadow of Infinity. This is in a box with no chance of pulling rares. Right, yeah, so we can't get Treeborn Frog. This is all hobbies. This will be supers or ultras. Normal supers or ultras as ultis. We can't hear you. Uh, yes, everyone else can, so that means you need to probably reload the stream. All right, four from the back. Ancient Gear. Grass Phantom Veggie Tails. Attack Reflector Unit. Ancient Gear Cannon. Prototype. Full Salvo. Bill's Frog. Chain Thrasher. I'm scared. I'm scared. This is probably an ulti. Okay, it's not a bad ulti. Like, there are worse ones. There are worse ones, but it is not a Sacred Beat. That's actually pretty good. It's a good ulti. Ruined Queen of... I'm not going to lie, though. This North American print looks better than I thought it would. It looks pretty fire. I'm not going to lie. That looks pretty good. Okay, okay. I wasn't excited at first because I was like, it's not it's not Sacred Beast, but I mean, that's a pretty nice hit. I mean, that's a pretty nice hit for Eric. I think he'll be happy with that. That's kind of a banger. And it hits in the light, too. That thing is pretty. Ruin Queen of Oblivion. Really nice card. Really nice card. I'm just going to 
put in the top loader and go to the next pack. We have not got an ultra yet and potentially an ulti as well. All right, second ulti. So here we go. Eric B, next pack. Everybody send us some luck. We're not at 200 likes yet. We need 200 likes to potentially pull a sacred beast. Success probability zero. DD guide, man. Tinkabito Shien, Goki Pawn, End of the World, Shin King Prototype, and a Princess Karan. All right, so we have three foils, two supers, one ulti through 12 packs. Next up, Austin M with one pack magic. The luck of the Pequeno, will it appear here? Austin M, one, two, three, four. Here we go. Miracle Kids, Parasitic Tiki, success probability zero, Hero Heart, Full Salvo. Beals Frog, Chain Thrasher, Tinkabido Shein, and an Option Hunter. That trap card scares me every time. Austin M, no luck this time. If you guys get nothing, don't worry. I will throw in a couple of bonuses for you guys because you guys were in the box break. I appreciate you guys. Mo S with two packs. More like Mo Packs. Here we go. Let's get an Ultra Rare. We have pulled one ulti so far. We got a Ruin already. A Ruin ulti. One, two, three, four. Success probability 0%. Elemental Hero Neo Bubble Man, Parasitic Tiki, Miracle Kids, Sand Moth, Super Junior Confrontation, Disciple of the Forbidden Spell, Symbol of Heritage, and a Sacred Beast, Hamon, Lord of Striking Thunder. There we go. Ultra Rare First Edition. First time I've ever pulled this in First Edition. It's not the ulti, but maybe that means we're going to pull the ulti first edition after this because we got the ultra rare. That's a nice card. So it's the ultra version. It's not like crazy expensive because of the ultra. If you get a PSA 10 on this, though, it'll probably be pretty decent. But this card is first edition. It's a sacred beast. That's a pretty nice pull. That's a pretty nice pull for Mo. Next pack for Mo. He wants Mo. He's like, I want Mo. Give me some Mo. I want to get an ulti. Attack Reflector Unit, Angie Gear Cannon, the Veggie Tail, Samsar, Disciple of the Ben Spell, Generation Shift, Beals, and. Oh, Mo goes two for two, which is insane. We always get this guy. How much you want to bet the last super is this guy? Okay, but now we're out of ultis and ultras. So, most likely, we've got a lot of packs left. He went two for two with Haman and a Divine Dragon. Divine Dragon, unfortunately, is a low value card, but it is a sweet looking card, which is kind of a shame. It's almost really amazing artwork, but there's like something weird about it. You know what I mean? We pull this card off every time. So what we've done so far, first of all, congrats to Mo for going two for two. We have pulled two ultis, one ultra and three supers. That's six foils. That means there's probably one other foil in here. It could be something besides the super, but unlikely. So there's one, two, three five, six, seven, eight, nine packs left. Um, we have, okay, so we have Michael S, Daniel S, and Nima R. Are any of you in the chat? All right, Nima, would you rather have your pack sealed or open? We have pulled six foils already, two ultis and an ultra. It's probably just a super left. So it's up to you whether you want those to be open. I don't want to open them up if you'd rather just have them sealed because we pulled most of the good pulls already. Seal, please. Okay. So what we're going to do with the rest of the packs is we're going to ship them out sealed because it's probably just a super rare and the super rares are not too crazy in here. Thank you guys for coming out. I appreciate you guys. Peace. Shout out to Tom Fosho and Nesto Diana, America Doyster, Brandon Chaney, Hextick, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.